So I thought I'd break with tradition and do something a little bit different. Um, I'm going to share with you a little bit later on. You're going to have to watch. Howdy, howdy, this is Claire Lawrence. Okay, I'm working with these guys today and I'm gonna kind of talk you through it. I'm kind of changing a little bit of a tradition up somewhat. Um, we gotta be flexible this year and I had an idea, so I kind of wanna share it with you, maybe, who knows? You can implement it in your family traditions. I don't know. So hang on, let's keep going. So I wanted to share with you this little trick that I do. Um, I had laid out a bunch of paints on my famous little paper plates. Okay, I don't know, they're not famous. But at any rate, uh, and then life kicked in and I had to get away from the studio for a little bit. And I just simply covered it up with another paper plate and put some weight on it to help with the seal as far as any extra air. And it's been a couple of hours and my paints are still nice and fresh. And I mean, you see, I haven't even touched them yet. So it was like, I just poured it out. And it's like, oop, gotta stop and do stuff. So that works out really well if you have to step away from it a little bit. Now, whether this will last for a couple days, probably not, but for a couple hours, yeah, it probably will. So, and these are the kind of paper plates that have a little bit of a, a shiny coating to it to prevent leaks. So that probably helps as well. All right, now to carry on with my big project. So I had the plate there all lined up with some of my Lumiere and some craft acrylic paints. And all I'm doing here is I'm taking my little wooden cutouts that I ordered and giving them a nice coating of these particular paints. Now, most of them have a pearlescent shimmer. Not all of them do, like the craft paints do not. So I've also got a little bit of a, a kind of an iridescent medium that I can add to the craft paints or even paint it on top. So that allows for some additional shimmer. And I wanted it to be simple, you know, kind of still artsy in a way, meaning showing brush strokes and such like that, but also some blends. Because I have a particular purpose in mind for these, especially these particular angels. And I picked this shape out specifically for my mother because she has a soft spot for angels. And so, I'm going to talk to you about some of these paints here. Some of them, like that pearl, uh, that purple that you, you're seeing there is the color shift uh, purple. Um, and I've got some of the uh, Lumiere's in there. And I think it is folk art on the straight colors. So uh, the Lumiere's are also kind of a color shift uh, paint as well it, on the two that I picked out. So it should give it some nice little fun bit of sparkle there and um, you know some extra little pizzazz. I tried some copper, uh, I picked up some copper and silver and threw some streaks along with some of these um, other ornaments as well and that was a nice little touch. So I also have painted these out, let them dry up really well, flipped them over, did the same thing with the back side. Some of them I got real detailed with, some of them I kept pretty simple because I have something special in mind I'm going to tell you. It's a little bit later in the video, so you're going to have to hold out. I also ordered um, some little wooden cutout wings that are adorable that I'm thinking about putting a metallic silver on them. And I tried two different metallics. I did uh, one, the Montana metallic silver, as well as the Lemire silver, which is a pearlescent silver. And I have to admit, the, the Lemire one, I wasn't quite as happy. It, it didn't have enough pizzazz to it. But the Montana one, which is like a, it's that spray paint, in, it's basically spray paint in a can without the spray part, um, has a really nice sparkle to it. So it, it definitely brings more attention to these pieces. So I'm really super happy with these guys. All right, come on, Claire got to finish painting up. I'm running out of things to say on this part. <laughs> I've already explained uh, 
with the reason for doing these angels in the next segment, and I'm trying to get it to that point. At any rate, so I've got more ornament videos coming up because I know we're starting to work on those things before Christmas time, so I want to get them out soon. So definitely hang, keep watching my channel because there'll be more there coming up. Okay, I promise. Segment's coming up soon. Very soon. It's not coming up soon enough. Darn it. <laughs> anyway, so I know that this uh, angel has wings there um, already on the cutout. And adding the additional one is be like, what? But for me, it feels like an additional embellishment. Very simple, but it's enough to add that pizzazz. All right. Here comes the next segment. Thanks for hanging on. All right, now that these guys are all painted up and I've got the backs painted up, it's time for them to do what they need to be. Well, let's just explain it to you another way. These guys have a purpose. And the purpose for this angel here, first off, my mother has a soft spot for angels. And so that's why the shape. The other part is they're also very, very lightweight. And I'm going to be shipping these around to different members of the family so that they can write little messages on there for my mom. Now, I went ahead. Uh, my son was visiting from college, so I had him sign one. And uh, we went and visited Casey, and she signed some for her, from her. And so now I can go to the next step with these guys. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to color the edges up and then uh, put the wings on it. But I wanted to continue talking about the purpose because that's kind of the whole point of this. What we're going to do, well, let me back up a little bit. My mama had a stroke a couple of years ago and you have to keep things simple with her. She gets confused super, super easy. And it's taken her a long, long time to realize that I wasn't visiting not because I was mad at her, but, but because I couldn't. And I could only talk to her through the phone, that kind of thing, and do FaceTime and stuff. So it's taken a long time for her to understand that. And Christmas is such a big deal with her that, you know, we I always go over there and we do the tree together, go look at lights together and do tra traditions together and, and very much pulling her into the Christmas dinner and such. So I'm now trying to think of unique ways to do this. Oh, that's kind of tricky. So we're going to swap Christmas trees. You know what? I'm going to get started doing the finishing up, and I will talk you through what we're going to do. How about that? Let me put the phone up here. Okay. So while I'm doing that, I'm also going to prepare my surface a little bit. As you notice, i got a nice messy area here. It's probably hard to see what I'm doing. So I'm just simply going to move my paper around. Anyway, okay, so she's got a big Christmas tree that lives in the closet, and Daddy's been taking care of her, and he's his place really, really full. He's not used to doing these kind of duties, and so we want to make it things a lot easier for him to be able to do what he needs to do. So I am opening up. Look at these. These are some wings I got for the little angels. Just to make them a little bit more fun. And let's see which ones am I gonna do here. I think I'm gonna do these guys. They they're, have several designs. So they're, they're really cool. Well, that's, yeah, that's the one for that one. Let's see, there's another one I know. This one. That's the other one. So what I'm going to do here is try to open this up. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, anyway, doing a Christmas tree would be too much for Dad. He would get overwhelmed really, really easy. And... So, I had an idea about getting, purchasing another, like a temporary, like an artificial tree, like a small one, like a four foot or a three foot, you know, 
they're usually about three foot, you know, when you include the stand and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, purchasing a tree and then we can, uh, I'm going to create a kit with a bunch of ornaments in there and have her decorate the tree. There we go. I think I'll look really nice about like that. And let me zoom you guys in a little bit. There we go. So, what this means is, is that there's going to be some ornaments that are similar to this, but more basic kind of stuff. So, Grandma's going to decorate that tree. Everything in there will be fairly safe, so she won't be able to hurt anything. Uh, meaning, won't be, you know, fragile and that kind of deal. So, what I'm going to paint this with is this stuff. So, it's going to be nice and metallic-y. It's probably going to absorb into this wood big time, but that's okay. You know what? I think I'm going to pour this into a cup. Hopefully that cup will hold out okay. <laughs> Just might make it a little easier so I don't knock over. Yeah, that's a little much. There. Ooh, smelly too. I'm glad I'm in a big space. Okay. So all I'm gonna do is just simply paint these wings with that. Oh, that'll look pretty. Okay, so she's gonna decorate one tree and while she's doing that one tree, uh, me and the boys are gonna decorate two for her. So she knows there's gonna be a, um, a surprise. What she doesn't know is exactly what's going on. Um, she knows there's gonna be another decoration that she's gonna get. Um, and so one day when we are done with ours and she's done with hers, I'm gonna drop ours off and we're gonna do this swap. Basically what that means is, you know, daddy's gonna put it in the garage and uh, <laughs> I'll pick it up and put ours in the garage and that's how we do groceries and all that kind of stuff to be nice and safe for, uh, for them. And then um, all these ornaments that we're doing for her there's going to be a lot of these angels that are going to have messages from different members of the family. And with the way she is right now and being able to process things, um, it'll make it kind of like a, like a treasure hunt, you know, going and checking out each ornament. And I can almost imagine her doing that periodically, you know, every other day kind of thing, stopping and just kind of exploring a tree or maybe she's even forgotten Oh, I didn't see this one here. I didn't see that one here. Um, so she will get a lot of joy out of that, I believe. So that's the plan. Uh, maybe I should put gloves on. Oh, well. <laughs> so it'll be kind of a new tradition for us. So we're swapping trees. So what kind of new traditions are you guys going to be doing this year? Because I'm sure... There's going to be a few new ones going around. We're also going to do Christmas via FaceTime. And gonna, yeah, we're doing that for, definitely for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to be cooking. And oh, oh. So she's really big into making her pumpkin pies. And I'm going to have her talk me through it. In other words, I'm going to be like her sous chef and having her tell me exactly what she wants me to do. And I'll make the pie over here. And I've been informed I have to do it with a stick. And what the stick means, that was a way of her marking, or her mama marking pies that had a little bourbon in it. So I have to do some pies with bourbon in it. So she's like, don't forget about the stick. So... We're going to do the pumpkin pies with a stick. It'll make mama happy. And by the way, the stick is just a toothpick. <laughs> so that should be fun. All right. Very simple. And I think that'll look really nice on that background. 
So very, very simple. This is the only thing metallic-y really that's gonna be a showpiece on this thing besides the signatures. The other thing I'm gonna do, yeah, I need to be careful about this. Let me make sure I don't have any wet paint on my hands. I'm glad I did. See how much I rubbed off? Because I'm going to very carefully go around the edge with the silver, too. So let's do that. And a little bit might carry over to the front. I'm not that worried about it. These are going to have a very homemade-y kind of look to them because I'm also going to get the boys to kind of help me decorate some of the other ornaments that we have. As I talk about getting it on the front, I just did that. So maybe I'll do some loose brush stroke. No, maybe I didn't. I don't know. So we've got some uh, other ornaments, some stars and some trees. So she'll really like that. And the kids are all in, which is not something they normally do. Usually the, the artsy craftsy stuff, as they call it, they're like, mama, that's your thing. You do that. They're totally into like games and computers and stuff. They're not into the doing the craftsy stuff. The other thing I'm trying to figure out is how to do the turkey in a way that mama can be involved in that. I don't know. I think I'm going to be end up FaceTiming her most of the day on like Christmas and Thanksgiving. So we'll have to see how Thanksgiving will be our, I guess, kind of a run through. I wonder if I need to swoosh this around. It's a very fluid paint, so it doesn't take a whole lot for it to cover an area. It's kind of like paint, painting with watercolor. So I'm going to be having a few ornament videos coming out soon because I definitely need to get some stuff together so that we can have her little kit ready so she can decorate our tree. So I've got a little bit of silver here on the edges, so I'm just going to go with it and just do it intentionally. And sometimes if you don't want it to go up all the way, you can just kind of feather it on the edges. And we'll get it to kind of almost give it that uh, distressed look, you know, weathered look to it. I think the brush really went down on that one. All right, we are just gonna pick up some silver and do this guy intentionally. This side's almost all green anyway. All right, 
So I'm gonna glue these guys on and we are done with this one. Now what I will end up doing is spraying it. I know it's gonna have a double wing on it. Yeah, that's better. I like that better. I am talking to myself. Yep, I'm gonna do it just like that. All right, I'm gonna give this silver a little chance to dry and uh, glue these guys on. All right, so I've got the wings on. I've got them glued on with with kind of this uh, glue here. It's, it's something that's a little bit stronger than Elmer's. It's what I use for my mosaics. And it'll dry nice and clear, but it definitely works really, really well on wood. So this has got a lot of nice shimmer to it. I'm gonna give it a good spray when it's dry with a like a clear, uh, like a clear varnish, you know, maybe a glossy varnish. I think that'll work nicely. So you can see that it's still a little wet there, but that'll dry clear. I'm not worried about that. But yeah, very simple little ornament, just brushy strokes on it. Uh, the little metallic silver on there it sets it off really nicely. So I think she'll be real happy with that. All right, there you go. All right, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified the next time I put a video up. And check out my Etsy store. I'm going to have lots of things going up, going up there. I need to get my act on and, and get a whole bunch of stuff listed. <laughs> I've got a bunch of stuff ready. So check out my Etsy store because uh, there will be a lot of gift possibilities there. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later.